hello and welcome to evening prayer let's just take a moment to settle in and settle down let us pray At the ending of the day and the darkness of the night, I seek an inner assurance of your presence. My body is still and my soul is silent as I listen for the renewing springs of your spirit deep in the ground of my being and in the earth's quietness all around me. Guide me to the wellsprings of health in the landscape of my soul and to the hidden reservoirs of strength in the people and places of my life that I may be made well this night, that I may be made well. Amen. I love this line. Guide me to the hidden reservoirs of strength in the people and places of my life. I spent some of today dealing with technology and I'll try and say that without laughing. And among some of the decisions that were required were what image we were going to use for these videos for morning and evening prayer. So I reached out to Jason Pettit, who is a local photographer, who provides the most phenomenal images of sunrise and sunset from here in the county. Sunrise is either, is usually Point Peter and sunset is Soup Harbor or Lake Shore Lodge. And every single one of his photos will take your breath away. And so I Googled it today and discerned that both of those places are 20 minutes from my doorstep. And I thought to myself, when I knew that I was moving here 13 years ago, I could hardly believe that I was going to live in a water world. And as a girl from the prairies, that was more than a dream come true. And yet after I settled in for a few years and the kids were a little bit older and, 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 I just took the water world for granted so that a couple of years ago, I think I could count on one hand the number of times I made it to the beach. And yet I open up this gallery of photos by Jason and I am gobsmacked by the wonder of it all. Guide me to the hidden reservoirs of strength in the people and places around me. This is a wondrous time for paying attention, don't you think? Paying attention to those things which have not had our attention. Paying attention to the absolute glory of every day. The gifts that are just outside of our window and these destinations on Lake Ontario that are 20 minutes away and are so soothing and healing for the soul. And so I wonder, as this day comes to a close, if you might consider those reservoirs of people and places that populate your life every day and simply require your attention. Let us pray. Thanks be to you, O God, for the strong arm of those who have given me shelter in my life who loved me from the womb and carried me as a child, who guarded me like watchful angels and wept when I was in pain. 
Thanks be to you for the men and women whose passion for the poor is undying, whose prayer for the oppressed is tender, whose defense of the wronged is fierce. Grant us strength to cry for justice, to be patient for peace, to be angry for love. Grant us the grace of a strong soul, O oh God. Grant us the grace to be strong. And here is the closing benediction. It is in sleeping that my body is refreshed. It is in letting go that my soul is revived. Bless to me my sleeping, oh God, bless to me my letting go. That tonight I may enter your stillness, that tomorrow I may awake renewed, that in the end I may be fully alive to you. Tonight, tomorrow, and always, gracious mystery, that I may be fully alive to the wonder of it all. Peace be with you all. Good night, friends.